Cassie and this is my channel. I talk about everything and anything from love, makeup, gossip, uh, my favorite things, some reviews about some things and you know just overall life things. Um, I do want to do like a full disclaimer. I do, <laughs> the only reason I'm doing it is because the last couple videos that I posted, I've had some of my girlfriends come and tell me like, hey, like I was trying to watch your video, but you drop an F-bomb here and there. Well, you guys, I'm an adult. I'm allowed to cuss. I cuss all the time. So uh, full disclaimer, I do cuss. I do talk about adult things, grown up things. So if you don't want your kids hearing this, or hearing some of the stuff that we talk about, please find a time later to watch the video without them being present. Um, today I have a really fun video. Um, as you can see by the title, um, it's a makeup haul. I bought some stuff from Cassandra Munoz on Authentic Makeup and Beauty, and it was a really good haul. Um, I haven't opened any of the bags. I just like cut the top open so that way I'm not struggling on camera to open everything. But I'm really, really excited, you guys. Um, I haven't... <laughs> Like I said in my um, skincare routine video, I have not had to go to Ulta or Sephora for makeup in a really long time. I go to Ulta for just like my skincare products and that's about it. Like I have not needed to go and order stuff off of Ulta makeup wise, Sephora makeup wise. And everything that I got is 100% affordable. I'm literally talking about what I would have spent at Sephora would have only been like one little bag. So um, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the first bag and see what we got. So, um, I'm just gonna pull everything out and then I'm going to talk about it with you guys. I really hope that y'all guys have been being safe during this crazy ass time in our lives. It's like no joke. I feel like people, I mean, I'm not one to talk because I feel like I go out and I do stuff still, but it's only because like I like I need to, like I need to go to the grocery store, I need to, I need to, you know, get stuff that I actually need. But other than that, like, I mean, I feel like I'm home most of the time and I'm, you know, just working on work stuff or, you know, working on some extra stuff that I need to get done. And, but yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the first bag. The first item that I did get, well, not the first item that I got. It was like out of the bag. <laughs> so Cassandra, whenever she starts her sales, she usually starts off with like lippies and then she like, you know, she always has like her categories that she goes through. So the first item that I wanna talk about is gonna be the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Frost, which if you don't know what that is, it's a liquid highlighter. This one is in the shade Goddess. Um, Brand new packaging, popped it open. Ooh, I'm so bougie. And it comes with like a dropper. I've never ordered a liquid highlight from him before. So I'm like really, really, really excited about this one. I really like his products. I've recently become obsessed with his products and it's just, it's, it's gone bad. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna set that to the side. The next product that I got was the NARS blush. This one is in the shade. Uh, Dolce Vita, I want to say if I'm saying that right. Um, I saw it was a really good blush. Right now I'm using the Kylie blush, and I really do like it, but sometimes I feel like it's way too, like, eh. Like, right now it doesn't look too, like I said, eh, but I feel like it's because of the lighting and stuff, so we're just going to play it off to that, folks. I also did want to make this video earlier in the day because I wanted to do it before Serge got home, and he was like, so, and then I gotta make dinner like around four, so it just works out for me to do it right now. So the next item that I did get was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Liner. I've never tried any other one of her products besides her pomade and her brow whiz. I also have gone pomade and brow whizzes from Cassandra. So, um, and then I did forget to mention like as I'm talking about the products, I'm gonna post what they retail for and then I'm gonna post what I got them from Cassandra for. So I'm really excited to use this eyeliner. Um, I don't even know if it's like a dual end liner. No, it's just like a regular liquid liner. Over the backwards, sorry. It's a it's a it's a regular liquid liner. My liner that I'm using is the Tardiest 
double end i don't even know what it's called liner but i really really like it it's like a marker and it's like a like a screw top one that one was really good i didn't think that i was gonna like it and i do um it took me a while honestly to get used to it i didn't think that i like it i was just all over the place um the next one that i got was another one from nars it's a pomegranate pomegranate power matte lip pigment i'm so sorry i was looking at a different product and this one is in the shade get it on um i've always wanted to try a nars pro nars lippy before um i did get one for christmas no that was um that was a different one um i was really really excited when i saw this one and i saw that nobody had gotten it yet so that's the shade it's really really pretty um and it's a matte and that's what i really like i don't really i'm not too much into the velvet and into the satin ones um because i feel like i just have to keep putting it on and then look like if i touch something it's there all over the place so that was one of the products this one i was really surprised that i got this one because the last sale that she had she had so many tatcha products and i'm talking about she would you'd get the notification Bing, Cassandra posted a, a, a picture and then by the time I went to go look at it, it already, it was already sold. Like it was just like over flooded with comments. But this one is the Tatcha Gentle Rice Enzyme Powder. I was, and it's in Polished. I was really, really excited to try this one. Um, I've heard nothing but great stuff about the Tatcha product. So I'm just like really excited to start using this one. Um... I was able to score a mascara. This one is the Damn Girl 24 Hour Mascara from Too Faced. I want to say, yeah, Too Faced. Um, right now I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I used to use it before, but then I felt like it was just a really heavy applicator, a really heavy brush. Um... And I feel like it just droops my lashes. I haven't been able to score any of my regular mascara, which is the Tarte Tardius Pro. I think that's what, what it's called. Um, but hopefully soon. Um, I had been wanting to try the Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Spray. And she did have it. I was able to score some. I think she had like maybe like 9 available or in between 8 and 11 available. And I was able to cop it. Um, so I'm really excited. And I was finally able to get my hands on the Jeffree Star Morphe and Jeffree Star brush collab. Um, every single time I would go to Ulta, I was not lucky to get them. But here we are. Hi, how are you? In Jeffree's words. Please don't copyright me. Um, it comes with this little bag and I'm really excited because I just have my brushes all over the place. It comes with... Mm. A crease br a cr a crease blush a crease bl brush a roll brush a double trouble brush a drama brush a fluff brush. It comes with a total of one two three four five six oh ten ten brushes. I think that's really good. Um, so. I'm really excited. I was able to get a good amount of Jeffree products on this sale. Another palette that I was really, really excited to get was from Cara Beauty. Um, Cara Beauty, I had never heard of it until I started buying from Cassandra. But I really, really do, like, I buy a fuckload of her lashes. And this is a palette that I got. I haven't opened it yet. Um, I guess we'll do an unboxing. Eh. Um... I haven't been able to um all I would really get was like her lashes and stuff but then like the other day I went onto her Instagram and um I was able to see that she does have like multiple products like I honestly like all stupid up and I thought it was just lashes <laughs> but it's not so look at this palette you guys it is so pretty the uh glare 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 um it is just look at me. It is just such a nice palette. Like the colors are so nice. They're so pigmented. It's just it's pretty. I like it. Okay. So that's it for the first bag. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the second bag and see what else that I got. 
was not a lot of products it was a lot of lashes and that's what i needed was eyelashes so the next bag didn't have too many things um but it's because i have a lot of lashes so um i did order from her this farsali liquid glass radiance serum with hydrolonic hydrolonic acid i can't say it um she did have the big size and i was i didn't want to buy the big one and then me not end up using the big one so i did go ahead and get the little one it it comes in this little thing and it also does have a dropper <gasps> i just broke the plastic it does have a dropper um i've always seen like girls use this serum or not like particularly the serum but like a serum whenever they're doing their makeup and stuff so i was excited to try this one um I did get the Morphe Felt Tip Liquid Liner. Unfortunately, this one isn't for me. It's for my sister-in-law. She tries so hard to get makeup off of that site, and it just does not work for her. Oh, wrong way. Um, it's a felt tip liner. I've tried this product before, and um, I really do enjoy this product. It's such a good product. If you're looking for a good, affordable eyeliner, get this one. Um, and I did decide to get it for her because... If you are one of those girls who is on that set, you know just how fucking hard it is to claim when our fingers are like ding 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 like we are on a fucking roll, you guys. Like it's not even funny. Um, I did get the Too Faced Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo set. Um I wanted to try, like I said, I did get the NARS blush, and then I wanted to try um the Too Faced one. Too Faced products are usually really good because they smell really good. This one smells like a little bit like champagne. So this one is a blush and a highlight duo together. Um, it comes in this cute little compact. Um, it has like these little champagne glasses. And then when you open it, it just has like the little mirror. So that's good. Beat my water. Um, I'm really excited. I'm it's kind of funny like sometimes like i buy all these products and i'm like oh, am i gonna use them because like you guys i feel like i'm gonna make a porter like my sister my sister has makeup from like 2000 i'm gonna not even like joke about it like she has makeup like for days and days and days and days and she's just so content with all her little makeup like yeah so i'm probably gonna have some of this stuff and not use it for a while but i'm so excited to use it regardless and then one of my last cops that i did get was the Too faced born this way setting powder i've been kind of hopped on the Too faced train for a while ever since i switched from huda beauty foundation to the born this way foundation after fixing my skincare regimen um this is going to be my first time trying it um i've been using the I at one point I did use the Laura Mercier powder and it was such a good powder so good but it's pricey and then like I wanted to switch back to it but then I see all these videos where these girls are like finessing the fucking system if you don't know what I'm talking about and if you're one of these girls shame on you because I work hard to fucking spend $38 on fucking Laura Mercier powder just to find out that it's the fucking airspun powder and there's nothing wrong with airspun powder that's what I'm using right now that's what I use on my face today if I have a little bit of flashback I'm sorry but some of these girls are buying airspun powder at their at their drugstore and then they go to fucking old or sephora order it online whatever they get the powder they fucking empty them out and then switch them and then they go back to the store that they got the product from and then they get their money back for the laura mercier powder when homegirls chilling in the fucking airspun powder and they return the airspun powder and I, I can't i do not condone it i don't think it's something that's cool because i'm not gonna fucking go and spend my money on 38 dollars worth of product when i could have got it at walmart for eight dollars if that's what you're gonna be returning don't mind my arm fight you guys like i just i can't so i'm still using the airspun powder and then i'm also using the becca under eye powder I use that one whenever I do like a really intense eye look and I want you to focus here on just my eye area and I really do recommend it. Cass hasn't had it in stock for a while so I, that was one product that I did have to order off of Ulta and I was really sad because I had to pay like an extra $10 for it but yeah. And then um, I did get some, some little stuff. Um, she ended up giving me the anti-wrinkle miracle worker 
I don't know what it is, but I'm excited to use it because I'm on the other half of 25 already, you guys, and that makes me sad. Um, I did get some Rouge Gel Lip Liner. It's a Sephora collection. Um, it comes with a, a liner. It looks like it's like a, it's called Yellow Gold. It's in this packaging right here. And then she gave me this cute little pink perfume and a bubble party bar for the shower. And that's pretty much it, like, for the stuff that I got, like, like you know, like, that's not lashes. But coming up is my lash haul, you guys, and get ready. So I'm just going to flip. Flip. But. Okay, you guys. Here we go. Fuck. That's a lot of lashes. So I bought a lot of lashes from Cassandra it's they're all care beauty lashes I love these lashes so much y'all if you have not tried these eyelashes homegirl you are sleeping on these lashes like they come from like a cute look to a dramatic as fuck look to uh let me see let me see just like a fun feathery look they're just they're so nice like i love these lashes so much i'm wearing baby lashes from care beauty today and i like them for like whenever i'm just gonna go to like heb and i'm not trying to like be like what's up watch me fly away <laughs> you know these lashes are so nice they're so affordable she sells them for four dollars each let's count them so one two three four Five, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen motherfucking pairs of lashes, you guys. Holy fuck. I am going to need a brand new lash book. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please refer to my previous video. I did buy this really, really cute lash book off of Amazon for like 14 bucks. It was so cute. It's like... Uh, has like holographic vibes like you know like stranger things could intro could go in there when you look at it these lashes are so so cute i did order multiple multiple styles because you just never know you know let's see i'm trying to look for the like these are these are super cute too they're like a nice like little like dramatic fun flirty um i was trying to score for some of the lashes that are kind of like Based. I don't know if that makes sense. Oh look, these are the baby lashes that I'm wearing. They're style number 53. Um, and I really do like these lashes because I've noticed that I don't have to trim them on either side. Like when I would wear Ardell lashes or Kiss lashes, um, Tarte lashes, House of Lash lashes, I always had to cut them because they were freaking huge. And these lashes, I, I haven't had to cut them. And I really like that. So I ordered two of these. Let's see, I'm gonna try to pair them. Bear with me, you guys. Um two of these. Mm, sorry about the glare. Um two of these. These are the ones that I was kinda of talking about though. They're kinda of like based out a little bit i think that's super cute um sorry my, my cat was jumping which just scared me um they're kind of spaced out so i think that's really really cute i just saw a matching pair i got two of these style number eight super cute um and then it was also oh just kidding you guys i got four number eights um it was really hard to like get um lashes because like i'm saying like you would she would post a picture i know you're kind of saying like how was it hard to get lashes when you have 16 pairs mind your business ladies um i uh you would sorry guys i lost my train of thought she would post a picture and then the next thing you know like they were gone but and then I ended up getting, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six pairs that didn't really match so much. These are the ones that are spaced out, but they're freaking beautiful. Like, they're huge lashes. 
these are just like a simple fun dramatic look these little caterpillars right here they're really really nice like oh, the glare is like really bad because it's like a neon box these are like the ends are really full so it's not like a full lash like all the way through it's just like cute simple fun and then sask little like you see um and then i got another small pair of lashes these are really cute too they're like the baby lashes that i was talking about and then these are just another pair that it's like the space out pair and i really really do like those like i said like that they're not like all put together like they have like the little gaps and stuff but that pretty much comes to an end when it comes to the haul but i was able to score a holy grail on this sale as many of you know eh, california isn't letting people ship stuff out so that means like morphe jeffree star cosmetics and i had placed an order from both and i'm really sad because i think i placed the order like the beginning of april and i still haven't received like a shipping confirmation but then again it's not going to get shipped until they the governor of california like says okay guys let your businesses go wild um she had gotten my ring light lights in the way the bloodlust set and i have been dying for a mirror from jeffree star for fucking ever here she is the purple mirror and all her freaking beauty look at this mirror it is so cute classic jeffree star like just a cute handheld mirror that you can have all the time um i did order the jeffree star blacker proved one and then i did order shane dawson mirror mirror whenever that um gets here i'll be sure to do an unboxing with you guys for that one too um so yeah um that's gonna be pretty much it for this video you guys um i really hope that you guys enjoyed sitting here and listening to me rant about stupid shit and about stuff people are gonna be watching this and be like yeah esta estamos en quarantine y te gaste y gaste well you know what karen yes i am I work hard for my shit and I deserve nice shit. So, um, I am kind of thinking about doing a giveaway soon. I really, really, really want to get to 100 subscribers on YouTube because once you get 100 subscribers, you get your own custom link. Like, it's not like, you know, you copy and you paste it and it's different every single time. Like, no. So, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway soon. I do have to talk to Cassandra about it, about my idea. Um but yeah if you're not already watching this please subscribe to my channel por favor um also please be sure to follow me on snapchat on tiktok on instagram twitter i'm not really too much on twitter i get kind of lost in the twitter sphere sometimes because yeah it yeah it's it's a lot yeah. um i'm also wanting to get to a thousand followers on tiktok right now i'm at 500 i need 500 more and i'm super close to getting to the 30k club 30k likes club on tiktok my videos aren't that funny but for whatever reason some people do enjoy them and that's not even me being like cocky and shit like that i just i don't know what it is um but yeah um like i said thank you so much you guys for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment anything down that you want to know below um i don't know when this video is gonna be up today is may 11th so i have somebody else that i have to edit videos for i'm not gonna say names yeah. um but yeah so i hope you guys have a great week when it, whatever day you're watching this please make sure that you you fucking remember that you're beautiful you're awesome you're a fucking bad bitch bad motherfucker if you're watching this with your lady don't let anybody bring you down it's fucking 2020 like i know this year has been shit but let's just fucking keep the positive affirmations rolling you guys like whatever you fucking believe that you can do you fucking set your mind to it it'll come true just like me ordering makeup and making reviews about it but until next time friends i know vemos.